Okay, so hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bloody like effect. So as you can see, I didn't re really make blood for this, but it fits with the chocolate effect dripping from the letters. So that's kind of what you're going for. As you can see, here are the drops. So let me show you how you can do this. So go to your create a background, 600 by 400. Create it. And what you're going to want to do is just make a word, any any type of word you want. So in my case, I'm going to do actual blood. And yeah, and preferably switch your word to 400, 140. If your word's too long for this, well, what's it called? Um, you can adjust the size. It doesn't necessarily have to be 140, but that's the recommended one. And then choose your color. As you can see, I have red already chosen. And yeah, any color you want for whatever you do. Okay, so then move your, oops, move your text around until it reaches the middle, which is preferably what you want. So I'm going to have it there. And then go to layers, go to layer to image size what this will basically do is make it the, the text or rather the layer fit in the entire background okay so next what you're going to want to do is go to filters blur and click on gaussian blur so what you're, you're going to want to have the value of 10 pixels horizontal and 10 pixels vertical so apply it and you're going to want to do this two more times. So repeat Gaussian blur and repeat Gaussian blur. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So then go to colors to curves. Go to your channel and put it on alpha. So then what you're going to want to do is put this one close to the middle, like around here. And then put the upper one also close to the middle. As you can see, this was used in order to make le my letters look round. And yeah, I'd say that they look rounder. They look rounder. Okay, so click OK once you're satisfied with your what it turned out. And what you're going to want to do next is create a new layer. So go to here, create a new layer, the same values, and then go here. Okay, once in this new layer, you're going to want to start making your drips. So go to your pencil, have it at a size of 7, and what you're going to want to do is basically click a dot, and then once you have a dot inside of your text, press, go down, and press shift. What this will do is basically that you'll, you'll get more nice straight vertical lines. So, there. As you can see, vertical lines. So keep doing this along the sides of your letter. And yeah, okay. Okay, so once you have gone across your entire text, it should look something like this. So you can put as many lines as you want, but so this is the one I'm going to use. Okay, so once you're done painting your vertical lines, now let's go to um, go to merge down so that the lines merge down with the text so you're gonna want to go to layers and merge down or you can just click on uh, control Z here and go to merge down so as you can see it's merged down and okay so now what we're going to do is basically make the dripping effect. So what you're going to want to go go and do is go to distorts, filters, distorts, and um, eye wraps, eye warps. So you're going to want to set these values. So you're going to want to set a deform radius of 9. And a deform amount of 0 0.26 and you're going to want to click on grow for this initial part 
Okay, so these are the, the values that you're going to use and you're going to work, work in here. So basically what you're going to do now that all your settings are ready, click and hold your mouse at the bottom of your line and make circular movements. So here, make circular movements. As you can see, it starts becoming sort of like a drop, like a raindrop. So keep doing this for along the edges of your lines until if you get something like this, it doesn't really matter. You can still adjust it to make it more, more, um, like, like, it's, it won't really show, it won't really show the difference. For example, it's better to have a diversity. For example, this one, it's like a thin drop, and this one is like a fatter one. Okay. So keep doing it, as you can see. There. 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 It really is however you you like it. So say for example now I'm about done. So if you don't really like how it turned out, the drops, you can still reset it. So just go reset and it'll basically eliminate all your progress on the drops. And yeah. So next up, what you're gonna want to do is the same thing, except that this time for the beginning of the drop. So here, you're gonna want to make it like it's expanding. So make it expand here, expand here. This one, you're not gonna make such such big ones because in this one, it's just coming out from the letter, so it shouldn't be that big. So keep doing it on this one, this one, this one, this one. So hold your mouse and make the circular movements like this. Okay, so once you're satisfied with your with your growing, now instead of grow, go to shrink. And this time we're gonna make like the edges, for example, like the like what connects the the blood, the blood drips, like here. The better like you, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, so you can alter it. The more it even it looks, the better, the more realistic the blood will look. So just play around with it. Okay. So even if you want to correct the, like the ones you, you grew for example, these ones, you can do it to make it a bit smaller if you want. So that's a choice. But you're gonna mainly focus on the on basically the body here. Here in the center. Okay. And there we go. So once you're done, well, you can now go over and click OK. And it's going to look like this, but that'll, it kind of looks odd right now, but then it'll look a lot better. So now what you have to do is go to this and duplicate it. So go to here and which then go to lock, which will to this one, lock the alpha channel. Okay, so once you have that clicked, what you're gonna want to do is right click on your duplicate 
and go to alpha to selection. So this will select everything within the text. And then go to here, which is are your tabs. And here you're in the layers tab, but you're going to want to go to the channels tab. So once you're here, right click on all this blue and create a new channel. So this new channel is going to be exactly as it is, but you're going to click on initialize from selection, which will initialize our progress from here, excluding all of the background. Okay, so initialize from selection, click OK. And as you can see, you now have that a sort of like grayish background. And next, what you're going to want to do is click on the new, new channel that you've just created and go to select none. And then go to your filters, make another Gaussian blur. And this one is going to start off with different values. So let's start with the 10 values. So 10 and 10, click OK. More value. Let's do another one. We're going to make a total of four. So go to the 10 and decrease this to six. Okay, so do another one. This one will be with the value of three. And lastly, your last Gaussian blur will have the value of one. Okay, so once you've done that, click the eye icon on your channel to make it invisible and you can now go back to your layers to here okay so go to your colors beforehand and go to a input this exact html notation so eight one wait um so eight one eight one eight eight one. I think that's it. Yep, that should be it. So it should give you a type of gray. Okay. So now, oh, and you have you need to have your duplicated layer clicked. Okay, so click it and go to your go to your edit and fill with HFG color and it's gonna basically fill your letters letters with the color gray the one that you chose here and it has to be gray that that type of gray no other value can be input so now once you've done that we're gonna start making our bloody effect so go to filters then go to um, what's it called light and shadow and wait um, where is it? Light and shadow and lighting effects. So let's start off. So for your bump map, enable your bump map and choose your channel that you created. So wait. So it's this one for me. Okay. Then that's it. Oh, and you also have to have a maximum height of, of 0 0.05. And yeah, that should be it. Now go to your materials and in here the only thing that you're going to want to change is the shiny. Change it to 7 to 0.70 and yep. So next up is the lights. So this is basically the most important part. So input all the information that I get. For example, in the type, change it to directional. The color is just as you want it. It, sh it should be white. Its intensity should be 1. And here are the values for the X. You have to put negative, negative 0.9. For the Y, you have to put negative um, 0.50. And for the X, you want to put 0.70. So we're going to make two lights. This is basically light one. Light two, you have to make the same directional white and have a uh, one intensity so for your direction put input this 1.40 for this input all the way to 
um, there. 